Hola, Jessica. ¿Cómo estás? Bien. Oh, no, no, no. Chris? Um, my internet's out again. It's not working. My name's Chris. I am in sales for a, a national company, uh, so I get to travel uh, quite a bit around the country. And uh, when I'm not traveling, I'm working at home. And this is my beautiful wife, Janet. I'm Janet. I also work from the house and I teach online Spanish. Uh, we just work from the house a lot and we have our kids at home, mostly Olivia. Our son goes to school during the day, but we just work from wherever we can get internet and wherever we can use our computers. Sometimes when we're towards the back of the house, since it is so far back and it's concrete block and stucco, the signal is a lot weaker there than it is here right in the living room. Today I was tutoring a student and my internet went out which happens from time to time, and it's really a big disruption to the student and myself as their teacher. I, I just can't have that throughout the day, and neither can he. Fed up, Charlene from Milo Wi-Fi is going to show Chris and Janet how to get the most out of their internet. Hi, I'm Charlene from Milo. I hear you have a Wi-Fi problem. With we the structure of their home, they're having difficulty with the router or the modem in the living room, really reaching up to the baby's room or reaching out to the office. So Milo comes in and what we do is we provide that reliable coverage at an affordable price. Our router over here. Okay, that's where your router is. My office is all the way over there. All the way there. And then I have the baby's room upstairs. It's all the way up here. Yes. Okay, so is your problem that your Wi-Fi is just not reaching everywhere it needs to go? Yes, we're not getting the connection that we need. Okay. To set up Milo, every setup is a little bit different because it depends on the size of your space, where your Wi-Fi has to go through, what kind of obstacles you may have in your home, as well as where your router is located. So here's how Milo is going to solve that problem. So we're in your kitchen. Here's your router. I can already easily see that there's an outlet right here. I'm gonna suggest that we put our base unit for the Milo right here. Okay, Okay. Sounds it's good. got no obstacles, no walls to get through. So when you set up Milo, you wanna start with your base unit over by where your router is located, about 15 or 20 feet away. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our point towards your office and upstairs, kind of like breadcrumbs to get where we want the Wi-Fi to go. So I would probably put one there up in the hallway, and then I think she's gonna be able to have coverage throughout the entire house. Now, before we get started, we have a little bit of a checklist we have to run through. Sure. Do you have existing internet service? Of course. All right, check. Do you have a router or a modem with Wi-Fi? We do. All right, check. Do you have Apple or Android tablet or smartphone? Both. Okay, well, we're ready to roll. This is the base unit, and okay. this is the unit that needs to be about 15 to 20 feet away from your router that has your Wi-Fi. I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in. Now it's gonna take a few minutes, the lights are gonna flash, and then what we're looking for is two solid green lights, and that shows us that we've got really good Wi-Fi strength. Okay. So in the meantime, while it's booting up, go grab your iPad, and then we're gonna walk through the app, and I'll show you how absolutely easy it is to set it all up. Milo Wi-Fi is also great for small businesses. We have a couple of bundle options. So you have the single option, then the two-pack, and then the three-pack. You can actually have up to eight Milos. Okay, so I have my iPad, okay. so show me. All right, so first we're gonna hit set up Milo. Great. Perfect, now we're using the three pack because we've got the base here and we want to extend the Wi-Fi into two different areas. Yes. So press the three pack, next, perfect. We've got all the stuff that came in the box, perfect. Yes. Okay, we've got it plugged in, yes, next. All right, now let's check the lights. Two green lights, that's great. That it. means you have got a really strong signal. If you have a question that you can't find on the app, all you have to do is call tech support. They are a great team, they're super helpful. They'll stay on the phone with you as long as you need to set it up. They'll troubleshoot any problems you have and they are located at the Milo headquarters in the United States. Now we're going to connect Milo to your existing network and that's it. This is my office right here. It's a great space. Thanks. I see an outlet right by your desk. Yeah. We're able to plug that in. And now, since we already set up the base unit, that's all we have to do. We don't even have to get back on the app again. Okay. It's gonna talk to the base, the base is gonna talk to this, it's gonna boot up, and once we get two green lights, we know we're good to go. In their hallway, they've got this great little end table. I think that would be a really great spot for them to put the Milo, because then that Wi-Fi is going to extend into both of the children's rooms, and they're gonna be able to have a crystal clear picture on their camera. I know that Janet and Chris wanna be able to sit outside in their beautiful patio and have their glass of wine and relax and enjoy, but also know Know that the baby and Chase are safe and sound and all tucked in. Now that Janet and Chris can see that the kids are napping, it's time for them to enjoy some adult time. I'm glad everything's working now and we can just relax. We can see Olivia on the monitor and yep. just listen to some music maybe. 
yeah, it's a nice day. It's uh, great to be out here. Let's get the music going. <laughs> just enjoy some quiet time together. Sounds perfect. Cheers. Cheers. For more information, go to designingspaces.tv or milowifi.com. You can visit these websites to learn more about the participants on this edition of Designing Spaces.